home to perhaps the loudest fans in the NFL, Century League Field is the site for this exciting matchup between the Bears and the Seahawks. Phil, let's talk about the running back position. It hasn't gotten a lot of attention all week long heading into this game, but how do you see it? Well, you know, we've talked so much about the quarterbacks all week long, Jim, but here's going to be an interesting thing. Even though these running backs haven't been talked about, I believe the one that has success here today is going to make the difference, and their team will win. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Well, it's a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Working that left side incomplete. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. Second and ten. Getting away from the pressure. He's into the open. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When the offense crosses the 50-yard line on defense, you have to be careful now because it gives the offense a little confidence. And what they're going to do here, they're looking for the big play down the field for that quick score. So on defense, you better play safe. Intercepted. He steps out. What a tough start for the quarterback. An early interception. Oh, the worst thing you can do as a quarterback, but I'm giving the defense here a lot of credit. They diagnosed the play. They took advantage of the quarterback, and they got the interception. Timeout called by the defensive unit. Lined up in the backfield. Cutler still has it after some nifty play action. And now they'll try over again on second down. Forte's got it on the toss. A foot race to the end zone. He's at the 50 breaks out of that one he steps out the defense cannot give up these long runs you have to hustle to the ball get a lot of people around the ball carriers to make sure they don't take short gains and turn them into long ones Back to the line after the 50-yard gainer on the previous play. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Bennett's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Jay Cutler from the shotgun brings it into his body. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Well, the offense has done a good job getting down inside the 20 in the so-called red zone or green zone by some teams. But the defense, you can be a little more aggressive now because you don't have to worry about the length of the field. It is shortened, so take advantage of it and attack this offense a little more. That 
long gain sets them up here on this play. Cutler's back at it now, dropping back once again. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. Nickel formation here for the defense. That pass was hurried. Heads to the line for the seventh play. Touchdown, Chicago. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Extra point is good. Bears ready to kick the football. The tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Bears will come out in the dime. The ball is jarred loose. The offense was able to recover the ball. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. I always love it when all the experts say arm strength is overrated in the NFL. Well, tell me about that after that throw and catch. First down following the long play. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone, and it almost gets picked off by the defense. They come out in the dime package. Second and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and it's out of bounds incomplete. The Bears come out in a dime package. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Throws to the right. It was batted away. Uh, take no chances when the football is thrown in the end zone. Don't go for an interception sometimes. You can kick the ball up in the air. Hey, don't do that. Knock it down. Hey, hey. Russell Wilson has it under center. Looking to the right side and throwing. And will turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. Tackled at the 18. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Offense lines up here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee you the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. After the incompletion, third and four coming up. And they sack him on third down, and they force the quick three and out. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Yeah, 
He'll turn it over on down. Bill, that was some kind of risky play on fourth down, and it doesn't pay off. Jim, I don't understand the decision. Why would you go for it on fourth down, backed up against your own end zone? Terrible decision. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. First and ten. They feed the running back. Five yard total. Well, if you're a good running back, when there's not a lot there, you find a way to make some extra yards. Here in the red zone, it's even more important. Handoff. Right side. That's a three-yard game. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. The wide receiver in motion. They'll run with it again. He'll go left. And he takes it across. It is a touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. have a chance to take off. Bennett's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Cutler steps back into the gun. Secures it with two hands. How about that? We just saw the fly route straight down the field by the wide receiver. Long throw by the quarterback and a nice completion. Wilson's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Action fake. They pick up the first down with that reception. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. you got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. Bennett's playing out of position in the backfield here. Trying to work that left side. Unable to bring it in. Wilson's going to get set in the slot for the snap. Second attempt. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Bears get a first down. The margin of error against man-to-man -man defense is much smaller for a quarterback than it would be against zone defenses. That time the quarterback right on target. Good throw. Bennett's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and ten. Reaches out and grabs it. Bears, touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. There's a flag right there inside of the uprights. Offside, defense. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. And 
they're all over him at the 18-yard line. One more snap and another quarter is in the books. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. The Seahawks still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. That's second down coming up. As they go ground here, now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. When you talk about cattle runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. So now a third and 10, throws the pass. He's brought down at the 46. Jim, that was some job of making the catch and holding on to the football. You could hear that hit all the way up here in the booth. Goes deep to Sidney Rice, and he makes the catch. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, too, the way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Bears are ready to return the kick. They're setting up return. Runs out of bounds. Hayes lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. And he was wide open. Good for 29. That time it was an easy completion for the quarterback on the play action pass. And it fools the defense because look how aggressive the offensive line is. They sold the play to the defense and the quarterback took advantage. Bennett's a tight end but lined up in the backfield for this play. First and ten will go ground. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep going behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple of yards. No doubt about it, touchdown. Patience is a virtue, no doubt about it. When you're talking about running backs, will you give the play time to develop? That time he did, the good patience follows the blockers, gets him in the end zone. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. He's going to be taken down well short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 15. Baldwin's in the slot. First and 10. Escaping the pressure. 
Well, good job that time by the defense, getting the pressure on the quarterback, but you can't let him break the pocket. Look at this time. He breaks the pocket. He's looking down the field. Nobody open, so he decides to run and picks up some big yards. The Bears' defense now is going to go nickel. And he's going to be brought down. The offensive coordinator just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback. So either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. He didn't look it in. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. Ball's picked off. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? On first down. Fakes the throw, still has it. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Cutler is turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Here's the quick toss. Touchdown, Chicago Bears. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. The point after is good. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. He's got a chance to return this one. Here's the quick toss. Ball's on the ground. Picking up the fumble. And now he's on the move. Well, one of the reasons why you put your fast guys on the kicking team because you want them to run down there and hit the returners hard. That was a great hit. Causes the fumble, and they recover. down here Marshall's handed the football good job by the safety diagnosing the run getting up outside and making the tackle for a short game two minute warning Leads us to second down. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Cutler's got it in the gun. Off the mark. That's not good timing between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback that time throws it too quick and too far in front to the wide receiver on the slant route. Third and 
goal from the eight. Throws to the right. Count it. Touchdown. Anytime, Jim, it's third and goal. You've got to decide, what are we going to do? Well, this time the offense, nice design. They throw the football, and the quarterback puts it right on the money for the touchdown pass. Bears ready to kick the football. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. down as they head to the line on the run the defense gets the sack you've got to know as a quarterback if you're able to break the sack in the pocket you get away that the defense is going to keep hustling and you've got to look to get rid of the football very quickly uh, the quarterback doesn't that's why he's sacked looking across the middle has the reception all alone they pounce on him there the old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside, show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Baldwin's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Well, they call this route a lot of things. They call it a goal route, a nine route, or a fly route. And all of them mean the same thing. Run as fast as you can, get behind the defense. You're going to take off with it. Taking off. Sliding to get away from the hit. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. First and ten. Running away from the pressure. And he's out of bounds. Game of two on the play. Second down now. Julius Peppers brings the quarterback down. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third and 14. Looking to the right side and throwing. Interception. In on the stop. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Now in first down. He'll throw it over the middle. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. The Bears come out in a bunch set. He's looking to the right here on this throw. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Wilson's lined up in the slot. Quarterback drops back, play action. Getting sacked. The quarterback's got a nose, but it's inside of two minutes, and that clock is moving. You want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long. Gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. They're set to punt it away now. Hey, hey, watch the 
it's a dime look for the defense on this play. First and ten. Ball is out. They recover their own fumble. Nice job that time by the offense. Even though they fumble it, at least they were quick enough and smart enough to get it on it right away. And that's going to do it for the first half. We'll be back from the Emerald City for the start of the second half in Seattle after the break. We're back here now in this one where the Bears lead by 21. across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. First down and 10. The handoff to Matt Forte for about three. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Second down. And a flag's down. And they knock him down just a yard away from awesome. the first. Decent. That's what happens when you try to guess the Still snap down. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down. But it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Second and two. Play action. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Makes the catch in the open field. Chicago in the end zone. What a terrible job by the defense. That time nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The Bears for the extra point kick. He made it. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback spins out of the defender's clutches. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. First down here. 
challenging the defenders to the right side. Golden Tate makes the catch. Plenty of zip on that throw. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Tipped. Incomplete. Good job by the cornerback. Meeting the wide receiver. He is all over him. And it makes it easy for him to swat down the throw by the QB. Harvin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Throws to the right. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. First and goal. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down here. They'll go the other way with the reverse. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third and goal at the five. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good job that time by the defense. They stop them short on third and goal. What will the offense do? I'm sure the defense is hoping they go for it. setting up here he's been sacked four times already what a beating it has been for the quarterback complete touchdown this is why a head coach gets paid so much money you get in situations like this they have to make the call on fourth and goal he goes for it and they get it The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Oh, it's a fake. Going across the middle. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. They've got him down there. to the line and it's first down. Matt Forte gets it here. On his way. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. You don't see this too often when a running back with his speed gets out in the open and you go, there he goes. It's got to be a touchdown, but give credit to the defensive player. Stays with it, and what speed drags him down just before he gets into the end zone. First down here after the run. What a catch. Touchdown. 
If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. That's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. The Bears with an extra point try on the way. And the point after is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. made right around the 25-yard line. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten, looking for Percy Harvin. Interception. Good piece of tackling. What a terrible job by the receiver. Nobody's open, tries to force the pass, and look, what's it turn into? An interception. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Now first and ten. It's the old counter play. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Throws the pass. The Bears now move the chains. He stacked up at that point. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Play fake here. Loads it up. It's going deep. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. The intended receiver on the play. comes out in the nickel. Second down and ten. Play action. East. The margin is increased with another touchdown. How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. Gold ready to kick it. <laughs> Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch.
Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. No one in sight has the grab. And here he goes. And in for the touchdown. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? Easy touchdown pass. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. And don't, so, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. The receiving team has the recovery. Marshalls in the slot. First and ten. Ball is snapped and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second and 11, the throw to the left, right where it had to be. Hard to play man-to-man -man against such a quality wide receiver. He's fast, he's big, you got to mix up the coverage. You play straight man-to-man, -man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. Tossing it to the running back. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. The Bears get a first down. Picks up 20. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. 15 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The Bears still on offense to start the fourth. Capped off the third quarter with a huge play. This play set up by the long gainer. The final quarter begins with this snap. Good job on the ground there by Matt Forte. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? margin for error from just outside the goal line no stopping him now that's a touchdown ah oh, you just love it as a quarterback you get down in there and it's first to go if you score now you don't have to sweat the fact that man what are we going to do if it gets the third down you don't have to worry about it good run nice touchdown bears ready to kick the football
the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. First down all the way. Looking to the right side and throwing. Wide open for the catch. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. Lining up now for the two. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Offense lines up here. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The Bears now move the chains. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. They've got a first down now after that catch. Matt Forte. That'll stop the play right there. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Second down and eight. Forte's taking the handoff. Another touchdown to increase the lead. Well, the NFL, no lead is ever safe. So when you got the lead, you push it on in there, score another touchdown, and keep putting the pressure on your opponent. An extra point is good. Bobby Gold ready to kick it. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Harvins, a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw catch. First and ten. 
And Harbin, with some nice hands, brings in the bullet pass. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. In his hands, complete. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver. But the receiver, big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it, but that was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squid kick. Lined up in the backfield. First and ten. They hand it off to the running back. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. There is nothing like getting the long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done, and this team definitely has one. The Seahawks are set to return to kickoff. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Tate's lined up in the slot. Here comes the snap midway through the fourth. He had no time to get set. Second down after the incompletion. Through his fingertips. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing. Run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Third and ten. He wants to go deep. Incomplete. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Offense lines up here. Eyeing that left side. Sticks to his hands. Tackle down at the 46-yard line. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. He'll fire it out to the left. On the money. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. First and ten. Scrambling out of the pocket. We've got a flag down here.
There's the call we don't see all that often. An illegal forward pass. Yeah, that's right. The quarterback that time was past the line of scrimmage. Uh, just lost. He lost his judgment where he was at on the football field. I can understand why. Trying to avoid so many hits. Didn't realize he crossed the line of scrimmage. to the penalty it's second down and 15 looking for a receiver on the left side here well they complete the pass Jim but doesn't get the first down sooner or later you got to throw one down the field all the way third down we reach the two-minute warning for the defense here third and two he'll fire it out to the left he had it but the hit jars the ball loose let's just tell it like it is Jim Nance his receiver is not a very tough guy because he gets hit it should have been a complete pass but he gets hit he just throws that football on the ground and the pass is incomplete two tight ends Looking across the middle, that's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Good job by the defense that time. Fourth down, they were ready for everything. Very aggressive, fast. They make the play, and this could change the game around. Lined up in the backfield. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard, that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete. The big hit by the defender. That's a timeout by the defense. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Look at football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. And they bring down the quarterback, and it's a three and out for the offense. Wilson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Throws to the right. Bennett's going to pull in the bullet pass. This decision sure will be second-guessed by the reporters tomorrow. You're winning. you got the football. It's in the second half, and you go for it on fourth down. Why do you do this? You make a try, it does not work. You've got to hope your team bails you out for that bad decision. He'll throw it over the middle. Inhales the pass. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. Good job by the offensive coordinator calling those plays. Leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can the defense come out and help them out? You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And he's brought to the ground. Bennett's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. He's brought down. 
hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready, nowhere to go. Slips past one player. They deck him in the backfield. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Bennett's playing out of position in the backfield here. Almost intercepted that time. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Wilson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looks to his left. Ooh, they fail to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. Well, that's four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. First down, offense readying for the snap. Looking to the right side and throwing. What you saw there was a good job by the wide receiver. Run that curl route and then see the quarterback, watch the ball, then attack it. Good job of getting your hands on there and making the catch. Two tight ends, second down and one. On the spot. I know they need a lot of breaks to maybe win this football game. In the red zone now, they got to get in the end zone quick. Let's see how they back up the big play here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Should have had it. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. It's now second down. Going across the middle. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. And intercepted. Could have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. They're lining up here for the onside kick. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Bennett's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. And he's forced to the ground. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz at time. They take the quarterback down. Second and long. Looking for an open wrist. A takeaway. Ball is out, and it's a takeaway. Just what you thought. They may have a costly turnover. They're able to somehow recover the football. You know, Jim, you know what happens to guys on offense when they fumble the football? You know where they go? To the bench. That's where this man is going. You fumble it, you're in trouble, you take him out of the game. Could have been intercepted. <laughs> Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Launching it deep. And there's a great catch. It's just not done enough, I think, in the league anymore. Everybody's so careful. But look what can happen. You can have the perfect throw, the perfect catch, and a big play. Snapping the football from the 28. That's going to do it. The clock hits zero, and this game has come to an end. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline?